Hi guys, today I am going to show you how to make homemade Play-Doh. Homemade Play-Doh is super easy to make it. You need just simple baking ingredients and it comes out super nice. It's got a really nice texture and it's so easy to make. If you have older kids, you could let them make it on their own. They would probably just need a little bit of help with the, with the cooking part. If you have younger kids, you can make it for them. And since it's made with all baking ingredients, it is not toxic and you can make as much of it as you want. Any color that you want, you can add glitter if you want. I hope you guys enjoy. The ingredients, a cup of flour, a tablespoon of vegetable oil, a cup of water, two tablespoons of cream of tartar, a quarter cup of salt, and food coloring. Getting started, we're going to need a medium pot and we're going to put all of the ingredients in at the same time. And with a spatula, we're going to combine them. We are going to cook the dough at a medium temperature, medium heat. Don't forget the food coloring. The food coloring is a little tricky. If you are using a gel paste, you're gonna use a lot less than if you're using a liquid one. I use gel paste, so I used about a quarter of a teaspoon. If you use the liquid one, you might need anywhere up to two teaspoons. And then you stir, stir, stir. Don't worry if it's clumpy and weird looking. As soon as it starts cooking, it's going to start thickening. And once you are able to form a ball in the middle, your dough is ready. We're going to put a little bit of flour on our surface so that the dough doesn't stick. And then we are going to carefully take the dough out of the pot. We are going to have to be careful because the dough has been heated. So it might be a little bit too hot. So be very careful when handling it. And this is the time to knead it and get rid of all of the clump and make it a nice, smooth texture. You can let your kids knead it. It's a fun activity. And once this is done and it's cool enough to touch, it is ready to be used. Don't forget that your Play-Doh will dry out if you leave it out, so make sure you store it in an airtight container or a Ziploc bag. That's the way to keep it from drying out. Enjoy! Okay guys, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys next week. Thanks!